Hey everyone, it's Alfred. I'm currently in the middle of a mental breakdown, and hey, my microphone it hasn't been working for about 20 minutes, so uh, I figure it's as good a time as any to watch some life hacks. Hey, cool. Um, it's what I do with my breakdown, just channel them. Just channel them into work. Crappy intro, let's go. 30 hacks and crafts that'll save you thousands. Thousands of dollars? Or someone's burnt? Someone has seared the flesh off their calves because they... I guess that'd be their thighs because they had their laptop on their legs. God forbid. Or they've got a blanket and they're gluing a pillow and a sheet of cardboard into a blanket. And then they put a picture frame on it. Yep. So they've stuffed a pillow into the back of a picture frame. And then you set your computer on it. Your Apple brand Mac, by the way. Boring dresser. Take the knobs off. Put on some crappy wrapping paper. All right. And then you put the knobs back on. Now they're painting it in ugly gray. And now it's black. And now they have a before and after that shows that now it has tacky stickers on the front of it. Isn't that nice? Um, I'm not seeing thousands being saved. Do not touch, says this M&M's in this Electrolux brand fridge. A man smirks at it and then takes it. A woman sneers for her M&M's have been stolen. Now, take a Kraft Mayonnaise brand mayo, spray paint the inside white, and then put stuff in there. So a bag of M&M's is like a dollar unless inflation has really gotten the better of the Hershey company. Her M&M's Mars whatever i'm not seeing thousands unless that's happened to you every day for a little around three years well whatever someone's taped a someone's taped a large amount of bottles together into a sort of orb and then they put cardboard on either end and then they covered in felt and now they're stapling canvas to it okay so they've got a bunch of bottles just oh it's a footrest made of bottles why all right a single man's eating gum on his couch in what appears to be a home is home and then six people stick their hands out asking for gum and apparently this guy doesn't know how to tell people no or alternatively go to hell so they've put a plant in a tuna can and then they put that in a potted plant, like a plant pot, and then you just lift the tuna can out and you have gum in there. And, dude, that's more obvious than what you did. Also, just tell people, no, I don't want to give you gum. They've got a mirror. They put hinges on it and then they've attached it to a plank of wood. And then they've put hinges on the plank of wood attaching it to a wall and now it's a crappy desk and then you hang it up and it's a mirror pringle walls oh it's like a soccer thing pringles brand pringles can they're cutting out a little semicircle out of the bottom and then they've wrapped it in marble wrapping paper and then there's what are those makeup removers in there? Cotton swabs? Some idiot while arguing on her cell phone has knocked over a gigantic potted plant. A huge vase. But they poured a bunch of sand in the bottom. And now when she does a completely different motion that is much less flagrant and explosive, it doesn't fall over. That's not really how that works. They've got an old crappy picture of one of the Louis of France, I think. Uh, and they're rubbing it with a potato to get the dust off. What a waste of a good potato. French people don't deserve this. All right, they got a piece of paper. They've drawn an egg on it, I guess. They scrapped it up. And now they've... Put a rubber band on it. Sorry, I'm just 
blown away. If ever you need to draw an oval, here's your life hack. Partition out the paper into eighths. Hammer push pins or tacks through the paper, I guess, into your table? And then put a rubber band around it and then use the rubber band as a guide to make sure that the oval is drawn correctly. Or perhaps it's a string. Um, how many times do people need to draw an oval? Like, a circle's the one people have problem with. Ovals don't really contribute that much to society. Like, ovals are probably less common than egg shapes. Like, circles, you get, like, eyes, you get transmutation circles. Like, what has an oval done for you recently? Who the hell needs to know how to draw an oval? And why is it worth hammering nails into your table? Or pushpins or tacks. Anyway, perfect oval. Ha ha. Go to hell. Someone's pouring wine into a wine glass. Oh, what a, what a rich person. Cork won't fit back in your wine. Dump some hot water on the cork. And then jam it in the hole. Twist it in there. And then it doesn't really get in there. Someone got a splinter while moving a gigantic plank of wood through their kitchen. They've uh, put a shot glass on it and then kind of moved it around a little bit. And then they pulled the splinter out. A broken egg. Oh, no. Maybe you shouldn't have kept eggs in a actual bird's nest. I'm not sure what that was. With vinegar, without vinegar. What? Oh, I guess they were boiling it oh man okay so an ad popped up but the next thing was five hacks people have learned in prison if i see anyone reaching towards their butt i'm turning this video off you need to stop people from taking your gum well here's a place to hide it all right they've got a candle a little tea light candle didn't know they allowed those in prison and then they have a toothbrush and they're holding it over the flame of the candle. Oh, is this going to get cool? And then they roll it out with a glass, a glass glass, no less. And then they scrape at the wall with it. And now you can cut fruit with it. This is not a hack. This is, I'm pausing. This This is not a life hack. This is one of those things where it's, it's not at all a life hack. It doesn't improve your life. It doesn't make it better. This hasn't saved me thousands. You have to go and buy a toothbrush instead of just finding a plastic knife. That doesn't make it better. That doesn't help me. And the thing is, the knife doesn't appear to have a blade. It looks like it just has... Just... It's just the the cutting part. You couldn't shiv someone with it. Do they allow open flames in prison? This is stupid. Do they even learn that in prison? How? I know that people whittle down their toothbrushes. I don't think they're allowed those tools to do so. Lighters, tea lights, glasses. Like, why? All right. Paper towel tube. Okay, they've wrapped their hair around a paper towel tube and they put a bobby pin to it so that you can curl your hair in prison. Do people have hair in prison? I imagine most people get their head shaved. Anyway, they've mixed coffee, baby powder, and lotion into a small cup. And then with a dish sponge, they've started dabbing it on their face. I don't trust that for a second. And now they're taking their crappy toilet paper curlers out of their hair. And now they look hot in their mug shot. They do not allow you to do that. All right, someone's in handcuffs and they're trying to chew their way out of it. I legit see this woman trying to bite a handcuff. All right, someone's trying to pick their way out of a handcuff using uh, the metal part from a chip clip. Okay. I'm going to imagine that most handcuffs aren't that easy to get out of. The woman was in a cell in handcuffs. That's not really how it works. And she like tried to hide the fact that she was in handcuffs from a guard, I guess, to hide the fact that she was trying to get out of handcuffs. Why? Really? Who is this life hack for? 
for people in handcuffs who have a chip clip ready, it's not like they allow chip clips in prison for this reason. Even if handcuffs are that easy to get out of, how does that help you? She's still in a cell. This one's absolute trash. Anyway, the next one. Oh, if you continue watching it, they show the same handcuff escape in slow motion. And then she rubs her wrist because that's what you do when you get your cuffs off. Someone's got a Heinz brand ketchup. Hold on. What do they got? They've got a spread here. They've got crappy hot dogs. They've got cheese and then some others, some what appears to be Chinese letters lettering on the thing that says cheese. It's probably a ramen noodle package. Um, some of it has been covered up with tape, although you can still tell what it is. They've got Ramia brand mayonnaise. And for some reason, they put mayonnaise in an orange bottle. Like, I think orange juice when I see that. And they've got, what are those? Tocitos? Taquitos? Some nacho cheese chips. And then Heinz brand ketchup, very clearly labeled. Very obviously labeled. And yet they've blacked out part of the label, but not the part where it says Heinz. Not to mention, you can still tell that it's Heinz even without a label. It's got a very uh, defined bottle. All right. They're mushing up a bunch of chips. And then they're mushing up ramen and they're pouring it in there. And then they're pouring the seasoning packets in there. And the vegetable packets. And then they're tearing apart hot dogs with their bare hands. And then dumping in water. I'm going to assume it's hot water. And then using condiment bottles, they're holding it shut. And then you tear it open and you've got an ugly plate of mush that you then cover with condiments, mayonnaise, and that's a lot of mayonnaise, dude. And then with a plastic fork, you eat it. Do they really allow that? And then a mean woman with a tattoo rolls over here and elbows into this woman. Oh, God, someone just put their whole socked foot in the water. Oh, that's a cursed image right there. All right, they've crammed a sock around a hair dryer. And then they're just blowing it dry. Just put on new socks, dude. It's not worth it. All right. Got a bunch of crayons. Some of them are broken. Okay. They put a crayon in a bottle. Some blue crayons. And then with an oven mitt, they're holding it. And with the other hand, blowing it with a hair dryer. They're holding the bottle with an oven mitt. And then they're turning it to allow it to marble on the inside, I guess. So now the inside of this bottle is coated with crayon wax. And then they put roses in there. Okay, so they're putting a hair dryer onto an air mattress to blow it up. I think I've seen that one. Also, don't air mattresses come with things to do that? And then she's reading Charlotte Bronte. I've seen that book before. It's the same woman. She's reading Charlotte Bronte on an air mattress. Do you blow up an air mattress every time it's time to read Charlotte Bronte? I know I do. All right. Someone's got an ugly t-shirt. Spray painting it with water. Spr spritting it with water. And then they go over it with a hairdryer. And now it's not wrinkled, I guess. They didn't really show the after on the girl's body. But um, a child has drawn over this vanity mirror dresser set with crayons and uh, then she blew a hairdryer on it and wiped it up with a towel. Seen that one too. All right. Someone's trying to squeeze out some goop. It's a bottle of some uh, makeup stuff, I guess. Hand cream, maybe. She runs, an, she runs a hairdryer on it and then she can do it. All right. This idiot's got his Apple brand iPhone and Apple brand iMac. And he's charging it. He's charging the phone with the Mac. Oh, Christ, dude, no. He's charging the phone with the Mac, but the cord keeps getting in his way. Oh, no. Anyway, then he tapes down... He, he spirals the charging cord over his pencil, puts tape on it, hair blows it, hair dries it, and now it's stuck in a spiral in a little loopy loop. All right, this idiot's eating Oreos at her desk, and it got in her billion-dollar iMac Apple brand laptop uh, uh, remote keyboard. Luckily, she's got her trusty hair dryer, and she just blows all the crumbs out. 
Should help you do coke at your desk, right? Awesome hacks with chalk. Someone's rubbing chalk into a cheese grater that's then going into a shoe. You got faded crockery. Rub with chalk, I guess. And now it looks shinier, I think. Dude, you've got your key upside down. I can see it. All right, they they couldn't get a they couldn't get a cell door open. That's very clearly a cell door. Like a prison cell. They rubbed the key with chalk and then the key went in. All right. Got fingernails? Dip your toothbrush in uh got ugly fingernails. Dip your toothbrush in white chalk and then rub it all over your nails. Got an oil stain on your boot? Serves you right. Um however the hack is that you rub it with chalk and then you just toothbrush it off. Homework, 5 plus 3 equals 8. 7 plus 4 equals 12. Oh, boy. Oh, they rub it with chalk. And then they can write 11. Sometimes these people, just wet shoes. Oh, it's another wet sock. What, are they, what is their deal? All right, crushed chalk. All right, they're, they're wrapping up this crushed chalk into like a bag. And then they're just kind of stuffing it into the shoe. All right. They hammered a nail into a wall, left a hole, they just rubbed it with chalk. Doesn't really fix it, but whatever. Go off, I guess. Um, they're dipping a necklace into a bottle of club soda, and then the screen says, amazing club soda hacks. You uh, mix an egg pancake mix and club soda into a bowl, stir it up with a fork. Gotta be a fork, otherwise five-minute craft will come to your house and shoot you. Pour it into a tiny pan with a spoon. And then it makes a small pancake. Put some butter on the top. Butter melts, and then they put some syrup on there. With club soda, without club soda. Hold on. It looks like they've just tried to make pancakes that rise more, but there's seven pancakes on the left. One, two, three, four, five, six. Or only six. And then there's... It looks like four pancakes on the right. One, two, three, four. Yeah, even with the club soda... Like, it is more pancakes, but also that's a little facetious. You could also shoot it in a way that very clearly shows that how many pancakes there are because the lip of the plate is kind of obscuring it. However, I'm so unwilling to trust 5-Minute Crafts with anything. <sighs> I mean, a different channel. I'm not watching 5-Minute Crafts. Trying to sing crap, baby. All right. Pour some club soda into a cup. Dump some jerly in there. Fish it out. Now you have some poison, and your silver jerly is all nice and beautiful. Oh, you idiot. You've spilled your coffee. Dump some club soda on it. Dump some more club soda on it. Dab it away with a napkin. Let dry. Do you mean let it dry? Hey, now it looks good. And now they're not drinking coffee. They're drinking club soda. All right. Put vinegar and club soda into a bottle. And then dish soap. And then lemon juice. And then they put a little squirt thing on the top. And now they're just kind of squirting it everywhere. And they're rubbing it with a dish sponge. And I guess it takes stains off your carpet. They rub it up with a little towel. Purple. And your white carpet's now clean. Oh, Lord. Surprising ways to use hand sanitizer, says the tooltip, as someone dumps hand sanitizer into a glass of red wine. All right, someone is just putting hand sanitizer right down their hairline that's i don't trust that but it's tamed their frizzy hair allegedly dirty makeup brushes bowl full of hand sanitizer just dip them in there wow sanitizer cleans things i never would have guessed and then they rub the makeup off whatever i didn't <sighs> of course hand sanitizer and really all alcohol products clean things oh you dumbass you cut your hand while cutting up a giant cucumber well just Rub it with hand sanitizer and then tape a something on a what? In case of emergency. All right. They're trying to get a sticker off a plate, a physically impossible task, but they put hand sanitizer on there and now they're just rubbing it away. Okay. Ikea brand plates, by the way. Oh, some giant pig headed idiot just ran into this woman while she was carrying a wine glass full of red wine. 
and just blasted wine glass all wine all over her. But she dumped hand sanitizer all over her shirt, and then it said wash as usual, and then it said that it was clean. Remove permanent marker. Yeah, dude, I learned that in middle school from any surface. Yeah, they just rub permanent marker with hand sanitizer comes off. Ten rubber band hacks, it says. I'm sure this ain't going to be a load of crap. All right, they're taking the back out of a picture frame. They put rubber bands behind the picture in the frame. And now it's in there, I guess? All right, they've taken the lid off a pot. And now they've rubber banded the lid to the pot. And now you can pick it up by the lid? I don't know why. All right, they threw out a rubber band through their air conditioning in their car, and now you can rubber band your phone to your car. Okay. They put a rubber band around a bottle, and then you can put your straw in there without it falling into the bottle. But also, you could just drink from the bottle, you idiot. So maybe it still doesn't know how to use tea bags, so you got a rubber band around your tea, uh, around your cup, so the tea bag thing doesn't fall in. If you got a strip screw or a crappy screwdriver, you can use a rubber band to help strengthen the bond and take the screw out. Hey, it's that wine bottle again, but putting a rubber band around a wine bottle and your phone will allow you to look at your phone and wine, I guess. Putting a rubber band around a thing of baking soda will allow you to scoop out exactly how much you need, I guess. This woman thinks that she's ugly. Well, I guess that helps. It's just like, hey, here's how to put on jeans that don't fit you anymore. Yeah, I guess so. You can still zip it up. All right, they've put a rubber band around a bottle of... What? Okay, so they've cut open a bottle of detergent and filled the bottom with paint, and they put a rubber band around the bottom. And now you can dip the paintbrush in there and then wipe off the paint and then put the paintbrush in the top. Why? All right, this idiot's trying to open up a can of peanut butter, or a jar, I should say. Using a rubber band, he's able to take the top off. I guess it's supposed to give more grip, but not really. Um, they put a rubber band and use it as a bookmark. Whatever. All right. And again, this is the same paint trick as we saw earlier, but now it's with little paint cans and a like a little paintbrush. Put a rubber band around your door handle and then put it around the little thingy in the door and you can never close your door again. Hey, use rubber bands to keep your ribbons from getting all over the place. What the hell am I looking at? Awesome mom's advice says the tooltip. But it appears to be a pencil emerging from the mouth of a bass. Let me skip back. Okay, I don't know what kind of fish that is, but it's definitely a fish, and a pencil comes out of its mouth. All right. Can I, what is that? A bottle of micellar water? Some tomote. Whatever. Basically, it's a little pro tip to put saran wrap over your bottles to stop them from leaking. That cat, that is too small of a litter box for that size of cat. That's animal abuse. But anyway, they put a plastic bag in the bottom of their litter box, and then they put in way, definitely not enough litter. And now when it's time to clean it, you can just take the bag out. But also, don't abuse your cat. That might help your life be a little easier. In case of uninvited guests... Wait, uninvited guests or house intruders? They put a cup with a bottle opener in it, so when someone opens the door, it clatters and makes a loud noise. Uninvited guests? Sure. Okay. They've s sprayed a napkin with perfume and then they put it in their blanket so it smells better, I guess. Food is reheated evenly. Oh, they just tunneled a hole in the middle of their spaghetti. It says no on regular spaghetti and yes on whole spaghetti. Someone doesn't know how to cut a fish, so they just draw on the outside with permanent marker. Why? Just eyeball it, dude. Or don't cut fish. Ugh. All right. Someone's got an old pair of pliers. They're just coating the outside with hot glue. It looks so ugly. That is disgusting. All right. Pair of panties. 
It's just a way to fold panties. You fold it and then fold the first one over the second one. And then you just kind of layer them all together. And then they put them in a shoebox? Or no, you... <laughs> okay, so you put them in a tissue box and then you can pull them out one after another like Kleenex. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Apparently putting a peeled potato into a, bo a bowl of boiling potatoes will help them boil faster. I don't know how, if that actually works. Um, Hacks to survive in prison, says the description. Orange is the new black, based on Piper Kerman's experiences in prison, showcases quite a few tricks for female inmates, such as using maxi pads to clean your cell, or as makeshift slippers, or a surgical mask. Uh, What? I'm looking at these, and this is just kind of weird. The timestamps for this video is just how to draw a perfect oval, toilet rolls as hair curlers, prison dinner, and crushed chalk for dull nails. It doesn't, like, separate it into, like, here's the hacks for that mom told me, and here's the hacks for prison, and here's the hacks from whatever the other parts in this video were. Yeah, honey... Adenyai says, um, since when are prisoners allowed to have lighters in their cell? Let's see if the replies help me. As soon as they saw you had a knife, they'd take it away. Oh, whoa, says, I think in prison, curling your hair and making DIY foundation is the least of your worries. No, says, that is probably unless you are a girl who cares about their look and all. What? No says, hi, I'm a nobody. Just don't drop the soap, says Sneaky Fox. Have a dirty painting? Use a potato to clean it, says Cooked Zucchini. Who would ever put hand sanitizer in their hair, says Emily Young? Yeah. Ugh. Doing stuff in orange clothes is not considered prison hack, says Suri Hugged. I don't think people are going to have this stuff in prison. Ugh. Why do I make this show? I mean, I know why. It's because my wife said it's a fun idea. Ugh. Yeah, I've decided to upload these in, like, seasons. And, like, maybe I'll only do one season. Maybe I'll come back and do something else. Whatever. Um, hey, I was having a complete mental breakdown at the start of this. And now I've turned it into something. I've turned it into something, at least. The distraction of things that are so, so stupid definitely helped me. And sometimes that's all you really need during quarantine. I'll be honest with everyone. Um... I woke up at about 7 in the afternoon. Uh, my dad texted me a few days ago, and I still haven't managed to get back to him. I think it's just about Assassin's Creed Valhalla. And, like, I definitely, definitely am excited for it. And I want to I want to let him know. But, like, I'm never awake when he is. Um, I haven't done laundry in a couple of weeks, and I'm starting to run out. This is just my quarantine life, by the way. And currently, I don't have pants on, and I haven't for a couple of hours. And for the foreseeable future, I don't think I will. Because on the one hand, I'm just eating through the laundry that I don't, you know, starting to run out of. And on the other hand, who cares? You know, that's quarantine, baby. We ordered Chipotle today. <sighs> Dale Cooper of Twin Peaks fame says that the way to live correctly or whatever is every day give yourself a gift. Doesn't matter what it is. It can be something small. It can be something big. But every day, give yourself a gift. And I've been trying to think about that, mostly because I was been watching Twin Peaks while in quarantine. Um, but like, hey, yeah, he's got a point. Every day, give yourself a gift. Do something nice for yourself every day. You know, like you should be your own top priority. Always. So just, you know, remember to take care of yourself, especially now in the 
Corona lockdown. I'm like what? I'm definitely like a month into lockdown. It took me this long to give up on pants, though. And you know what? That's my gift for myself. No pants. I've been Alfred. Have a nice day. Remember to give yourself a gift every day. That's the end of the second crap, baby.